Rob, Julie, I'm at 13th and Pacific here, and the stoplights behind me lost power during Tuesday night's storm. Right now, they're being powered with the help of a generator. I did just check with OPPD. Currently, 842 customers remain in the dark tonight, and I'm told crews have been working out nearly 24 hours straight to get the full grid back up and running. OPPD crews working overtime. This team replacing seven power poles taken down in Tuesday's storm along Highway 133 south of Blair, knocking out power to those who live nearby. That went out immediately, almost immediately when this tree went down. It was about the same time. The wind was so powerful it took off the entire top half of this large silver maple. Huge branches came blowing down onto the front of the house. Other branches blown right over top of it. And then this is the rest of the tree from this out front. This is the top of the tree that used to be in the front yard. Yeah. Walt Burr is still without power and also has this mess to deal with. Large tree branches scattered across his yard. And then the wind just took that section of fence out. And it just kind of shattered. Uh, you'll see a lot of those split pieces that are just picked up. It looked like it just exploded when it hit the ground. Walt now cleaning up as OPPD crews continue trying to get power back up. This team along Highway 133 on the job since yesterday morning. You really feel for those guys. They got a couple hours off and then they went out in the rain and pretty much worked in the rain all night last night. Ryan Mayberry is OPPD's storm manager. He says the poles taken down near Blair were just recently put up. Because that's a brand new line. So, you know, if, if for a strength perspective, those poles are as strong as they're going to be. As for Walt, he's trying to stay positive. It is what it is. I've got candles and, you know, so we'll be all right. Back out here live at 13th and Pacific, you can see utility crews remain on the scene. I'm told at 630 they'll remove that generator and this intersection will then be controlled by stop signs until power is once again fully restored. And those OPPD crews work long hours. When a storm hits, they work 36 hour shifts. They'll get a break, then work in rotations of six out, 16 hour shifts until power is fully restored. We're live at 13th and Pacific tonight. James Wilcox, KTV News Watch 7.